Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to another video. It's been a while, it's been a good month or so. I've been off my game, doing other things, other art-related projects and editing music video for this dude. Um, that video will be out soon, which I'll let you know when it is. Um, but yeah, anyway, let's get into this video. So basically we're doing the Tiger dip. They had um, this like figurine to, and in, on the figurine it had Tiger's head. I thought it'd be quite a cool little tutorial to do whilst I'm in my free time. So yeah, let's get into it. It's pretty simple. I'll show you the basics of keying and how to track and how to make it look all good together. So yeah, let's get into the video. Push! So we're in here in After Effects and we're in the main comm. Now I'll talk you through an overview of what I've done to create this effect. It's pretty simple once you know how to do it, but you gotta have the right tools and film the footage correctly for it to work. So if you look through here, you can see it's being tracked to the head. It's being tracked to the doll. I've got the head on and there's a bit of movement. The tracker's got them going. Now there's three there's three main components to this uh, setup. You've got your layer that you want to put your head onto. And then you've got your main footage in the background and then you've got a null object now most of you that already know after effects will know what to do really you want to track the footage behind and then create a null object which then you'll place the track markers to the null and then you'll pick whip your head onto the null and just position your head in a position that is correct which works so i'll give you an overview of how it's done so if we turn off these so here's the normal layers and what I've done here is basically if you open up your tracker panel so if you go to window make sure tracker is open and then you make sure your clips selected and you want to click, click track motion once you click track motion you'll be taken into this part here now if you're at the beginning of the comp you want to basically find the areas of the track where you want to go and with this doll luckily I had like they have bright blue eyes if I can show you quickly so if you see here we've got bright blue eyes now they work perfectly as like a track point so you want something that kind of stands out from the rest and the only thing with this doll is that the hair was a little bit like crazy um, so that you could see it behind it you if you want to do it properly you kind of want it to be blended in quite nicely so you want to think about that as well before you film it um, so then once you've basically done that you're in here and then once you got your track points track them on make these squares a little bit bigger so they've got a bit more range and then just push up play and then it will play through and then you may have to do some auto adjusting when it gets through like i got to about here and it started the track started to lose and where it was going so i then had to like automatically adjust it so i had to drag the layer onto the eye and then push next to analyze the next frame if it worked then I'd do it again and then push play again and it would go through but keep an eye on it and you know make sure the track is following the right markers that you want to mark otherwise the thing that you attach to it will start to look funny and start to scale weird and then once you've done that um, see I've got three I've got three track points on here position rotation and scale that's because I moved it forwards and turned it a little bit so kind of want all three on and then you want to edit your target once you've created your null, which you can do that by right clicking and, cl and create null. And then apply that to your null, so you click apply, X and Y, and make sure that it's on there, and then it should apply these points. And once you've done that, all you need to do is go back into your normal composition, make sure that layer is turned on. Um, and what I've done here is, all I've done is added a simple mask, so if I, if I get rid of that, you've got the key the keyed footage and just just so you guys know how I key my footage basically what I do is I go to effects panel I type in key light and I apply this um, key light spill suppressor and a preset if you apply that and then let's just pretend it's not on right so it's like that so if you click the pick whip and then click the background well you kind of want it to be green obviously so I'll undo it and you just pick the green background and then it will do that for you and then this layer here advanced spill suppressor will be off but if you turn it on it will get rid of the green spill and I usually like to use the settings around about 7 on the edge radius and now for contrast to 30 this usually works for my setup at work and then all I did was mask it so if you go to your mask you can do a finer mask than what I'm doing but 
here I go, masking it nicely. And then add a feather, if you push F on your keyboard, you bring up the feather, change that to 150, make it just a little bit softer on the edges. And then pick whip that towards your null object. And then once you've done that, your head will follow the body. And that's how you do it. So it's really simple, uh, some really nice ways. For any, if you, I've got some tips for you guys if you're going to film it on a green screen, make sure you've got nice lighting, you want to make sure that you've, when you're keying you've got a nice key, and also for something like this I would, you can see I'm wearing a turtleneck here, I would advise maybe even wearing like a, um, like a green, green wrap that you can put around your neck so that you can key all the way up to your neck and you've literally just got a floating head. Like whereas I had a top, I had to get key that out, and if I wanted this to look perfect, I'd have to key out around the neck a little bit um, to make it look like it's not got like a neck roll. Um, so if you put a green roll around your neck, you'll eliminate that process. But yeah, I think that's the tutorial, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a quick one. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and all the rest. I'd just like to say thank you to all the subscribers that I've had in the past month whilst I've been in inactive. I have been replying to your comments on the, t on the videos, and I have been keeping myself active on YouTube. I just haven't uploaded any new content. Um, but I hope this video gives an update of kind of like, you know, where I'm at. Um, I have been busy on the editing side and doing other things art related, but I will keep push publishing these YouTube videos. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next one. Chica, chica, chau!